I'm Carly with Carly Crafts and today I'm doing a special video for Robin, my pink stamper and my best friend. <laughs> she had her 5 million hits last night and so she asked me to do a challenge and so I decided that my challenge today is going to be do something with an envelope. I'm going to make an envelope book with my bind it all but you could use an envelope on a scrapbook page or you could make your own envelope whatever you want to do just use an envelope jazz an envelope up really cute just be creative with your envelope okay so here are my envelopes these are just um, a2 envelopes which are five and three quarters by four and three eighths so I have my cutter and I have my 12 by 12 paper and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna cut it at five and three quarters and we'll cut the other half at five and three quarters as well okay my next cut is gonna be at four and three eighths and then I'm still at five and a quarter and then I'm gonna do three and three eighths Then I'm going to do two and two eighths twice. Okay, so that is how you cover all the pieces to do one envelope. And the, we'll show you. I'll show you how to assemble those in just a second. I'm going to. I'm still. This is still five and three quarters. And I'm going to do four and three eighths. I'm going to do it twice. To make my cover, I'm going to take two of my envelopes and just glue them together. I could probably lick that and shut it, but I don't want to lick it because I don't like the taste. Okay. And glue them. And I'm going to turn, my envelope flap went this way on this one, so I'm going to have it go this way on that one just to kind of even out the thickness. Line them up and stick them together. And then I'm going to just use my paper to cover it. Oh, and I'm out of tape. We'll just switch to my purple one. I purposely cut it so that it was a little smaller than my envelope. And I could line it up on this edge because I'm going to punch on this edge if I wanted to, but I, I'm going to leave it. And I'm having double-sided cardstock, so I'm using the other side for the other part. Okay, so there's my cover. And I'm going to do these opposite too. So. We'll cover them like that. And I'll just show you one. Get our adhesive on, and I am just being messy with the adhesive. And I'm gonna, I am gonna line this one up at the top. So I am gonna punch this end. So we're gonna punch this side. So the flap opens this way, and we're gonna punch this side. Okay, now I did this side polka dot, so I want to do that side in my other side. If you have just one sided paper, you can do whatever you want. You can make them all look the same, or you can make them all different, or mix and match all your patterns, or whatever you want to do. Just be creative, because that is the funnest part. Okay, get that one on there, and then I'm going to flip it over that way. I'm going to take two of these. Now these ones are five and three quarters by two and two eighths, both of these. And then this one was five and three quarters by three and three eighths. And the back one is five and three quarters by four. And these ones are actually five eighths. I forgot where I cut them out. Okay. Let's get these all taped. Do, 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 
two. Okay, so these ones, when we actually do them, I did mine so that they were the same. I'm lining them up with the top of my envelope flap and then with the sides of my uh, envelope here. And then we'll do the other one and I'll line it up down here at the bottom, the top of the envelope flap. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so here we have both of our envelopes made from our 12 by 12 and I just alternated because they were double sided. And we'll set those aside and we'll bring out our bind it all. And I'm going to set this on the side because this is my cover so I want to make sure this one's at A, this is B, that's C. I want more and more that would be so we want to make sure it's back at this C because C is for the cover. And we'll slide that in. And then I'm going to put this little part that sticks out in my third hole. Push it all the way back. again. So that is my cover. And then to do my inner pages, remember I want the flap to be up. So to do my inner pages, I'm going to make sure that's all the way back. And then I'll put it again through that third hole and punch again. Okay, now we're all ready to bind them and I have all of my envelopes done and I have all of the flaps turned to where they are in the front okay and then when we go to bind it we're gonna actually bring the back cover here it is and we're gonna flip it on top and we are gonna count our holes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're gonna make sure we have 10 for the O-rings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 11. So I'm just going to cut one off. String them on the O-wire. This is a 3 quarters inch O-wire. I have a, quite a few envelopes. So I could probably go up to the next size, but I have. Okay, so they are all in, and I'm going to, this is flat, and I'll just turn around flat, and I've already set my bind it all up to punch at the three quarters. Okay, got a good pinch out of that, and we can just take the back cover back to the back. Okay, so here we have the book, and it's all done, and now we can just go ahead and decorate it however we want. Okay, here is our finished project. I just added some buttons and some ribbon and some ribbons on the top. So there you go. So the challenge again is to use an envelope in your project. Either make a project with envelopes like I did, or make a scrap of page that you use an envelope on, or make your own envelope to go with a card you made or something. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope that you get some inspiration and congratulations Robin, BFF, my pink stamper. <laughs> Have to throw that in. On your five million hits. Hope everyone has a great day.